What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brushstrokes or Z Man. And today we're gonna be spraying the Clean Armor Automotive 427 Clear Coat. This is new revolutionary stuff. If you haven't seen my last video, um, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the comments and I'll probably put a little pop up here in the corner if you want to go check it out you definitely want to watch this video um, before um, using this stuff it has a lot of info on what you'll need and just the info you need on this stuff so click that link go watch that video um, but we'll be spraying this 100% solids clear coat zero VOCs there's no solvents in this one part clear coat automotive i will put this hands down against any other clear coat out there as far as durability goes and uh, one thing i did forget to mention in the prior video um i know this clear is expensive but more money savings right here no more charcoal filters needed there's no solvents in this we don't need that charcoal filtration you could just wear a simple dusk mask like for sanding um, all you need is a mask to filter out particulates you don't need any chemical or you know uh, you don't need that charcoal filter to protect from toxins so um, like i said if you didn't watch my prior video make sure you click the link in the description we got our clean armor set up and our gun and everything um, this helmet is all createx colors with uh, custom creative silver fine silver pinstriping outline around the shield there and just just have harley on the back here but with this stuff they say you should clean with alcohol first but since we're using createx that is a big no-no if i were to touch this with alcohol all that paint would just start melting so um this is what i used on my test panel that i did successful i used tamco final wipe um, this is a very mild solvent cleaner that works very well with Createx paints. And now I tested and proved that it to myself that it works for me with the Clean Armor Clear Coat as well. But we'll go ahead and get this wiped down. Always wipe down with one rag and come in with a clean rag, clean dry rag. That way we can get any, if there's any other contaminants on there, we'll get those wiped off. If you don't know, wax and grease remover basically just brings the wax and grease up to the surface. So you still have to wipe it off to there. That's why I always do a second wipe that way. Make sure I get anything off that I didn't in the first one. A um, couple of other things. My booth goes right outside, so a uh, UV light gets in here. So I just put a moving blanket over that. Um, I'll crank on my fans here, and then I'll make, I'll just fold that blanket out a little bit, make a couple little open areas for overspray to get out of here because we don't want uv hitting this until we're ready um, this clear coat kind of self levels itself so we'll spray it we'll let it sit for i don't know a few minutes maybe to get it to where the clear is where we like it where it kind of lays down self levels and then we'll hit it with the uv light and we will cure it so I'm gonna get my mask on here and we will get in the booth and start spraying. Hopefully you can still hear me with my mask on. Right, get our booth shut up. Get our gun hooked up here. Check the air pressure. I don't know what to run this at. Last night I tried I think 25 PSI, so I did get a little bit of peel when I sprayed, so I'm going to bump it up to 30. We'll try 30 this time. Go ahead and get our fans going here. And we'll 
will make a little area for the fans to breathe. Hood on. Now, although this stuff doesn't have any VOCs or solvents, you'll still want to be covered and protected. Um, if this stuff gets on your skin and cures, it can, can kind of cause some burning. So you'll just want to be conscious of that. Now, I'm wearing my chest camera, so I can't really see if you can see what's going on here. Hopefully you can. I don't know where I'm at, where I have my gun set at, so I actually spray this. This is an LPH 80. I don't know if you can see that. And last night I sprayed this. This goes four turns out for full fluid. I went two and a half turns is how I sprayed this before. It was it worked pretty decent, so I'm gonna do that again. Once again, I hope you can see what I'm doing here because I can't see the camera. All right, so this stuff looks like crap when you first spray it. Like you can see all those little, looks like dirt nibs, but they're not. They're little pox, I guess. Just kind of a regular reaction. But as you can see, I don't know if you can have seen that in the camera. But this was pretty orange peely when I first sprayed it. So since it's self-leveling, we're just waiting. Like most of those pox are going away as it sits here. And since this isn't kicking off, I see a couple spots that I, it's kind of dry. So we'll hit those again. really see all that stuff's leveling out. Awesome. Uh oh. Gonna miss the whole top. Actually, let's let some of this overspray clear out first. All right, 
So my UV light is about two and a half, three feet away. And looks like all those pocks are almost gone. Got some dripping here. Nice thing about this clear. Yep, just get that drip out of there, that run. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh. Looks like I'm having some sort of reaction or something here. Look at this thing. The gloss is unbelievable. We're gonna bring the UV light in a little closer here. I don't know what's going on there, but I got some sort of like wrinkle or something going on. Now I really should have set a timer for this. Probably take my mask off now. I'm gonna actually get this out of here too. Now, if you're wondering what this stuff smells like, it smells like pine salt, straight piney. Kind of good, yeah, kind of overpowering too. Since I did not set a timer for this, I'm just gonna keep the light on it a little longer, make sure it's fully cured. It, like I said, this stuff cures fast. So, I mean, it's gonna be 100% cured in just minutes. Getting that UV up on that bill and make sure we get all the edges around the brim of this thing too. Now, one thing I did see when Coast Airbrush was demoing this, if you do get this too close at first, it will start smoking. That's just the chemical reaction. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna do two coats on this thing. I might just do this one. As long as we can sand that. I don't know if you can see that. There's some kind of issue going on there. Let's 
see if I can show you. See that? I don't know what that is. And then right down in that little crack there looks like see that open white gap that might be I don't know what that is it looks like there's an air bubble in that like like the clear didn't get all the way down to the paint Who knows, but let's, let's check an inconspicuous spot. Let's see if this is fully dry. All right, here comes the magic. Let's turn these fans down so you can hear a little better. Let's get these gloves off my sweaty hands. all right so i didn't cut this video at all nothing look at that that's my fingernail and i got fingernails let's do it somewhere where you can see really good where that light is all right, thumbnail. I'm pushing on it. Nothing. Look at that. Other than whatever happened here. down in here I'm assuming I maybe I didn't clean it good enough maybe I missed a spot maybe it dripped something on there I'm not sure but I'll probably sand this down and see if I can't cut and buff that stuff out of there if I can I'm gonna ship it out like this if not we'll spray another coat and I'll come back but clean armor just a couple minutes this is clear this is hard this is done i can ship this out to my customer in georgia right now if i want crazy crazy stuff make sure you, you like and subscribe to my channel i will be doing a lot more clear armor videos so hope you like that the content uh the clear coat freaking amazing um, if you do get some, have any questions, hit me up. Um, I will be doing plenty of experimenting and testing with it. Be doing videos as well, but I just might not get those edited and posted for a while. So yeah, just like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing live videos too. So if you hit the notification bell, I think it's over down here somewhere, somewhere on here. There's a little bell. Hit that. You can get notified every time I post a video or when I go live as well. So that's all I had for you today. Wonder if you're as blown away with this clear as I am. I can't believe it still. I can't shut up about it. So that's going to be it for this video. We'll have some cutting and buffing coming up. Possibly next video. Till the next one. Oops. Keep those brushes stroking.